Excel, Module 5, Apply Your Knowledge. When you open this up, the first worksheet is called Annual Totals. And then if you click the next worksheet called Quarter 1 and then Quarter 2, you'll notice that they didn't complete the rate of pay times how many hours they work to get the gross pay on any of them. What we'll first do is match the quarter one, uh, row one color with the tab. So if you right click on the tab and we'll choose the color so they match. And then quarter two, tab color, just to be consistent. Quarter three, and then quarter four. So they all match. Then go back to annual totals. Eventually what we're going to do is have the hours work from all three, all four quarters and the gross pay from all four. But first let's go to quarter one and we want to finish the calculation for all four quarters. So with quarter one selected, hold shift and select quarter four. So everything that we do right now will be affected in all four quarters. So the first thing we'll do is in D2, we'll put in today's formula for the date. Or you can go into uh, formulas, date and time, select today and OK. The next thing we'll do, and whatever we do here is going to be on all four of them. So we'll put in our simple calculation here, which is equals B4 asterisk. B4. So it's just multiplying the rate of pay times the hours worked and go ahead and check mark and then fill handle. And then we'll do our totals. So you can click auto sum. It'll add B4 to B7. Check. And you can also drag it across. And then the hours of um, the rate of pay and the gross pay should be in the accounting number format, but not the hours worked. So select column B, hold control D, and choose on the home tab the accounting number format. And then for the hours worked, it really should be with the comma for the thousands places. And then if you want, I'm just going to decrease so it's just one decimal place. And once you finish, you can, well, we have one more thing to do. We're going to, um, in order to make the row three stand out a little bit more, select row three A through D, go into cell styles and choose heading style three. And then if you want, you can center them. And then if you right click on any of the tabs, you can ungroup. And then if you check all of your quarters, should have been completed with the date, with the um, formatting for row three, and all the calculations, all the accounting format and the comma, everything is there. So you're saving yourself time by selecting quarter one through quarter four, and um, whatever you do to one will happen to all four. So the next thing we'll do is go to annual totals, and we want the hours worked total for each employee ID number, for each of the four quarters. So again, just go click auto sum, and then you'll hold and click quarter one, then hold shift and click quarter four, and then click hours worked. So in your formula bar, you should see that it's equal sum quarter one through quarter four, and we're starting with C4, which is the hours worked, and then check. So those are the total hours worked and you can go down to row seven and then we'll do the total gross pay so again it's auto sum click quarter one hold shift quarter four and then click the very first um, gross pay which is d4 and check and then use your fill handle and then we'll do auto sum so it adds those four and the same thing for column d and if you want, you can put those in bold. Or we can also put that total, and that's in cell styles, and choose total. 
So these are the totals for each quarter for each employee. And this is the grand total for all the employees for the four quarters. So if you were to check this in print, file, print, it's only showing one, so you need to change it not to the active, the entire workbook. So you see all five pages. And then if you'd like to do is go to page setup. Now, before I do this, I'm going to cancel because if I do this to one, I want it to appear on all of them. So I'm going to click the back arrow. I'll click annual totals, hold shift, and click quarter four so that they're all selected. Now, when I go ahead into file, print, page setup, I can, um, you can keep it portrait. It, it fits fine. Margins, I want them both horizontal and vertical for all of them. And in the header footer, you can do a custom header with the date, your name in the middle. And on the right side, I'm going to put the file name and then OK. Then I'll go to the footer and on the right side, I'm going to put sheet name and then OK. So you have the file name up in the top right and then in the bottom right is the sheet name. And if you go to the next one, quarter one, quarter two, three, and four. And that's the save and submit. Thank you.